All right. So let's talk um, g of x. Let's find the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes. All right. So that's all I wanted you guys to do for your homework tonight was just determine the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. The first thing we do, remember, we're talking about polynomials that are, um, or I'm sorry, we're talking about a rational function that has a polynomial up top and a polynomial on the bottom. So these are two polynomials. But to determine, remember, before we do that, let's actually make sure they're all foiled out so we can see what they look like. So up top, I have 4x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4x. All right? Now we can see that we have two polynomials, and they're now in descending order. All right? Plus 4. Thank you. OK. So yes, make sure you do the sugar property correctly. So that's going to be my polynomial. Now let's do the vertical asymptote. I think that's always the easiest. The vertical asymptote, remember, is when you're deno all the values of x that make your denominator zero. equal to 0. Yes? Um, so all we do is we take our denominator and we set it equal to 0. Now, for actually this one, it probably would have been easiest to keep it in that non-factored form because I'm going to factor out an x anyways. So all right. Now, what do we do from here, right? Why do we factor it all? We write, we factor to write a polynomial as a product of its factors. So we can do one very, very, very important rule. The zero product, or property, not rule. Zero property product, or zero product property rule, blah, blah, blah. What that means is if these two numbers multiply to give you zero, then x equals zero, or x minus 4 equals zero. Now can we solve for x? Yes. OK. We got it. All right, so now your vertical asymptotes, so that means your little lines where your graph is going to approach are going to be at, I'm going to write them over here, vertical asymptotes is when x equals 0 and x equals 4. So those are your two vertical asymptotes. All right, make sense? Now let's do horizontal. Horizontal, remember, we have that test. And if you guys remember looking at the test, we were looking at our Degrees. So I'm going to do the degrees that how I wrote them in your notes. The degree from your numerator, if it's less than m, that means your horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. If your degree in your numerator is equal to the degree in your denominator, then it's y equals the um, division of their leading coefficients. If your degree in your numerator is greater than the degree in the denominator, you have none, right? This was in your notes and also in the last video I made for you. So let's look at our degrees. Is our degree, first of all, what is the degree in our numerator? If I have x to nothing, that really actually means x not to nothing, but x to 1. If it was to 0, then x to the 0 would be 1, so we wouldn't have an x there. So we have x to the first power, meaning x is being multiplied by itself one time. So what do I have? Is my degree in my numerator larger, equal to, or smaller than the degree, degree in my numerator smaller. or denominator? Smaller. So we have this case, right? So my horizontal asymptote is what? y equals 0. Everybody follow me with that? That's all you guys had to do for your homework. That's all I wanted you guys to do for every one of those problems. 